Yeah, we identified a series of blog posts dating back to uh, 2012 while Mark Condit was a student at Austin Community College. So in context, he was about 17 or 18 years old at the time. And in these blogs, we really see kind of two sides uh, of, of this young man. On one uh, uh, side, he seems like a typical teenager. I'm quoting from this blog. He says, I enjoy cycling, parkour, tennis. Um, reading and listening to music, what most, say, 18-year-olds would say. However, this is the blog post where we're seeing another side. It's called Defining My Stance, and he talks about controversial topics like gay marriage, abortion, and terrorism. Here's a quote from one of those. Uh, this is Mark Condit writing, homosexuality is not natural. In addition, political protection of a sexual, um, uh, of homosexuals is ludicrous. Here's another one saying he should uh, do away with sexual offender registries. Will putting him on a list make it better? Wouldn't this only make people shun him, keep him from getting a job and making friends? So uh, a, a pretty um, uh, out there stance on, on two controversial topics, one uh, being gay marriage, another um, sex offender registry. He also touches on issues such as abortion and terrorism and the death penalty. Uh, again, these were written while he was at Austin Community College back in 2012 when Mark Condit was about 17 or 18 years old at the time, um, and he was taking a government class. Uh, so six years removed from present day, we don't know obviously entirely his state of mind present day, but they offer some glimpse uh, of what he was thinking back during his days at Austin Community College. But again, uh, there's a contradiction there, Yvonne and Brian, because uh, his profile, like I said, is like any other quote-unquote normal 18-year-old who enjoys tennis and cycling and reading and listening to music. So we're going to continue to uh, dig deep into his social media profile, which, by the way, is rather limited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for a young man. Very few friends on Facebook that we know of. Uh, very uh, limited Instagram uh, and YouTube sort of uh, digital footprints, uh, but this at least offers some insight into what was going on in this young man's mind back then. All right, thank you. He was at Austin Community College for a couple of years, I think 2010 to 2012. But other than that, you reported this morning, uh, homeschooled. Uh, we saw from a Facebook post, which is what we pulled the picture from, uh, his mom commenting about he had 30 hours or so of college credit, and that again is just a little more insight into the person being a homeschooled individual with siblings there in the home and his mother definitely uh, a large part of his life at least according to the post that we saw yes and and our word from uh, ACC is that he did not graduate with any sort of associates degree or, or anything of that nature in that Facebook post though back to that uh, you'll recall his mom did say that um, what is he going to do perhaps a mission trip of some sort some sort which uh, provides some insight perhaps uh, there was some faith base um, activity going on in that house. Obviously, we're efforting to learn more because the more of a profile that you can build on, on this bombing suspect, the more potentially it could lead to a possible motive, guys. We also want to point out the picture was from 2013, or yeah. at least it was posted in 2013. We're not sure if that picture was even taken prior to that, so obviously he There's would look photo, much yeah. different, I would, you know, I would assume uh, today than he, than he did in that picture. That's